That's perfect. So welcome everyone. Uh, thank you so much for attending our Lightning Talk. Uh, we are really excited to be presenting today at KNativeCon, and it's a Lightning Talk on building machine learning inference with the KNative uh, serverless infrastructure and architecture. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So quick introduction. Uh, thank you so much for doing that already. But I'm Shivaram, a developer relations engineer at MilliSearch, and I primarily focus a lot on Rust and WebAssembly and machine learning inference with MLOps. Hello, I am Rish. So back when I was submitting, I was in high school. I just completed it a month ago. Okay. All right. So first, let's go over the standard uh, infrastructure through which we operate and create a machine learning uh, tech stack, right? So of course, you'll have your general MLOps lifecycle where you have your model uh, preparation of your data, then you go ahead and train a model, you evaluate your model, and then you go ahead and uh, like you know productionize it and then you are also running a lot of things such as Prometheus metrics to be able to monitor your model post uh, the deployment and when, when once it actually goes into the production. So there, there's a lot of things that goes into uh, not just looking at once it has been uh, like you know pushed into production but there is uh, this entire tech stack that you'll uh, need to use in order to evaluate and you know, like, you know, understand how is the machine learning inference going ahead and so basically that in involves deploying your machine learning model, scaling up your model, and then also updating your model in case uh, you require to change certain parameters. So uh, you can see over here this kind of the standard tech stack where you can uh, refer to any of the different types of machine learning model uh, from coming from TensorFlow, PyTorch, or Escalon, and then you'll need all these things such as like you know Kubernetes, Istio for traffic management, and Knative, which is the serverless infrastructure for uh, being able to run uh, serverless functions. And if you take a look at how machine learning deployments are done on Kubernetes, uh, you need to ex you need expertise in all of these different things, right? That means uh, being able to uh, configure your HTTP and gRPC requests, then uh, deployments and how you'll define your YAML files, where you'll be defining your services, your pods, and then uh, you'll also need uh, persistent volumes for uh, any kind of model updates and model changes, and also, of course, uh, where you will require to save your model files themselves. And then you'll need uh, things such as CPUs, TPUs, or GPUs for doing that inference on the go. And you'll need dedicated model servers. So just to kind of deploy your machine learning model on Kubernetes, you would require, you'll basically need to set up all of these things. And of course, it can take a lot of time, and especially if someone who is just getting into the machine learning in, uh, world, right, and who are primarily focusing and uh, using, like, let's say, data science. Uh, as data scientists, you don't want to really focus a lot on, on all of these, right? Uh, all of these are primarily focused on DevOps. So that's where uh, we are going to be like, you know, going ahead and taking a look at how we can add a layer on top of our existing inference stack and how we can reduce all of these dependencies that we just saw with the help of KF serving, which Rishit will talk about. Hello. So uh, I'll be talking more about KF serving, which is also... So, Thank you. So I'll be talking more about KF serving, which is also bundled with Kubeflow, and uh, uh, what, uh, and what you can do uh, with KF serving is simplify this process of uh, de deploying your machine learning workloads uh, easily on Knative, and uh, uh, both of us have actually been contributing quite a lot to Kubeflow, and uh, uh, we have been using KF serving for quite some while. So. Uh, so some of the things that uh, KF Serving uh, allows you to do right off the back is uh, uh, brings all the pieces together. So you, you have an intuitive and consistent environment. Uh, it's simple enough to deploy a machine learning model uh, without ha having to worry about all the logistics or how something like scheduling or uh, ha or, hard or hardware would be um, hardware would be given to run the machine learning jobs. Uh, uh, which is also a big problem um, at designating hardware for your machine learning jobs. Uh, what kind of hardware do you need? What uh, what kind of processes in your model need? What kind of hardware? Uh, you might need to use a mix of GPUs and CPUs in a way that a lot of your data processing or data ingestion happens in the CPU. Uh, and all of these are uh, problems even when you are running the model, inferencing with the model, not just the training part where it is pretty apparent. Uh, so all of these are uh, definitely problems uh, when you are inferencing with the model as well. And uh, 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 and what we'll uh, try to do is, uh, because this is a short talk, 
I'll just try to give a quick overview of uh, how KF Serving works. And uh, I'll also uh, share a couple of demos, uh, which are pretty easy to run, uh, but we'll not run them right now due to time constraints. So uh, we, we just show a sample example of running a scikit-learn model. Uh, and that's as basic as it can get. Uh, but you can also apply the same ideas or how, how, uh, or, or KF serving to PyTorch models, to TensorFlow models, or to uh, probably more complex models where uh, where you don't use your uh, where you don't use custom uh, where, where you don't use pre-built layers at all too. Uh, but right now we'll start with a simple example. So uh, we start with a scikit-learn example, and uh, I, I want to highlight some things because we don't have time to go through all of this. So, uh, so some some of the things uh, th uh, this allows you to do, and uh, if you see, this is very similar to the experience you have uh, uh, r running workloads on Kubernetes as well. Um, uh, so, it is, so, so many of the ideas are pretty similar to that as well. And over here, um, I just specify the minimum amount of uh, uh, a minimum amount of hardware my model would need. I also specify the number of replicas I need, and I uh, also have uh, the canary deployment options, uh, and all of this in a simple YAML file. Uh, so so you, now you can do all of this with Kubernetes as well, uh, uh, which is interesting, right? Uh, if you can do all of this with Kubernetes as well, uh, in some way, then why do you, wh then why do you ha want to bring KF serving into the picture, and why talk about all these YAML files, uh, newer, uh, and new and a new uh, tech stack over there. So, uh, uh, so a lot of the things that I uh, talked about, even if you see uh, see the previous example, they were machine learning focused ideas, uh, which you would have to go through a length to implement them with Kubernetes. Some of them, uh, something like replicas, you can do it very easily. But some of the machine learning specific ideas, uh, which are probably not very applicable for other kinds of softwares. Those are pretty well supported uh, with KF serving, and uh, uh, this is also an example of using TensorFlow or PyTorch. And all I want you to see from your, because this is quite some code, uh, is that we are simply changing the models we have uh, over here. And um, uh, another thing I show, uh, showed is um, you, you can make canary deployments just as easily in the context of machine learning with this. And this is an example where I do it um, while also changing some of the uh, while also changing some of the, uh, the uh, things for the canary deployment, I'm customizing uh, how I want my deployments to be. Uh, Shivai, would you like to talk a bit about explainability? Sure. And what you can also do is that uh, when it comes to writing your models, and then once you, of course, we are talking about inferencing. So another part of the inferencing is also the model explanation. You want to describe what what is what exactly does your model do, and in terms of once you start to infer, uh, you can do that with the help of Alibi Explain, which is by Selden. So Kubeflow and uh, the KF serving was built with Google engineers, Bloomberg, and uh, Selden as well. So you can use Alibi Explain to understand what are the model uh, model metrics and how does the model perform when you run these inferences. And you can also do post processing and pre processing of your model to understand more in depth about how the model behaves under a given uh, load of data that it's being sent to. So all of these can be defined with the help of these simple YAML files with the help of KS serving. So what you're seeing is that it supports multiple types of machine learning models. It is able to do model explanation. You're able to uh, do post processing and pre-processing of your data with this. And of course, not having to worry too much about setting up all of your infrastructure that you'll uh, normally uh, require with your Kubernetes architecture. And then to kind of summarize. Rishi. Okay, so uh, we are almost at the end of our talk, uh, as you might have seen the time. <laughs> so uh, uh, so we didn't go a lot into depth of how KF Serving works, and we just wanted to give you a quick overview of what KF Serving does and uh, how it can be integrated uh, if, if you want to deploy machine learning on Knative. And we also talked a bit about uh, explainability, which we think is pretty interesting, how easily it can be done with KF serving and some of the aspects of KF serving. Uh, uh, we also talked a bit about uh, canary deployments. And uh, uh, that was uh, oh, what we did in the talk. So uh, 
just going to summarize uh, the ideas that KF serving has been built on top of Knative framework. So where uh, Knative allows you to create these serverless functions and for your machine learning inferencing, uh, the KF serving adds a layer on top of it to kind of give you an ability for very easy deployments of your machine learning model and infer from it with all these different functionalities that are provided to you with the help of KF serving. With that, we'll uh, conclude and thank you so much. You can connect with us and we'll be open to any questions. Thank you. Thank you.